350 companies are showcasing their latest projects and organizers say the four-day event may help Turkey increase its defense exports that currently stand at 3.2 billion dollars. Let's cross now to Tier 2 World's Axel Zaimovic who is at the expo for us here in Istanbul. Axel, just walk us through what's happening there at the expo today and what's on display. Yes, Afnan, we've come to the uh, Saha Expo down in Yeshilko in Istanbul just to see the latest technology basically here. This is Turkey's largest defense and aerospace exhibition that's taking place every year basically. But what's really different this time, we're expecting to see more than a thousand exhibitors from 32 countries. They're going to showcase you know, the latest developments in terms of high-tech products. But, you know, what's really different this year, it's not going to be just from the defense industry. We're going to expect to see manufacturers of land and naval platforms, but we're also expecting to see a lot of companies from the space industries as well. They're all coming together. They're going to join forces. They're going to showcase what's the latest in the industry as well. Uh, what's really interesting here, like this year, we're also expecting uh, to see, organizers say that they're expecting to see more than 30,000 visitors at the venue that stretches across 60,000 square meters. The fair also features some of the really important uh, panel discussions on Turkey's potential in all of these areas that I mentioned before. But also there will be some talks about the war in Ukraine at some point. Uh, also, um, as you mentioned earlier, uh, Turkey is definitely trying to position itself as a key leader in the global defense uh, market. And the government definitely wants to increase uh, the country's uh, defense exports to $4.5 billion. But what's really evident this year is definitely the fact that Turkey is trying to bolster its presence in space as well.